In today's weather lab, we're going to learn how the wind forms or why the wind blows. And to do that, I've got these two jars here and I put balloons on there and they're going to represent the atmosphere. So the air molecules can't get in and they can't get out. In fact, right now, the air molecules are just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So let's see what happens when the sunshine comes out and begins to warm things up. And to do that, we're going to turn on my stove. So this stove represents the sun. Now, it's not as hot as the sun, but it's going to do just fine. And what do we do when the sunshine comes out? We wear sunglasses. So now we're going to put our little stove on our pan of water on the stove. And so what we're doing is just sort of heating up the atmosphere. I'm going to take this jar and we're going to put it and warm it up. So what we're doing now is we're taking the molecules. They were sitting there minding their own business. And now as soon as they start to feel a little heat, they start to move. And the more heat they feel, the faster they move. Now, when they start moving, they can't go into the ground. So instead of going into the ground, they start to go up. And that's exactly how thunderstorms and clouds form because the air is getting pushed up. Lots of energy is going on. Now, look at my other balloon. Nothing is happening in that one because the energy is not moving those molecules around. But as me immediately when we start to heat the atmosphere, things start pushing up. So the taller the clouds, the taller the thunderstorm, the bigger the storm. But what happens as soon as you go high in the atmosphere? It starts to get cold. So we're going to put this into cold water, ice water, just like what would happen in the atmosphere. And as soon as I do that, those molecules that were moving very quickly start to slow down. And look what happens to our balloon. It starts to sink. So as soon as a thunderstorm forms and you got all that cold air up there aloft, it starts to sink again. As soon as it starts to sink, it starts to get warm again. And that's exactly what happens in the atmosphere. Things are moving up and things are moving down based on the differences in temperature. So here's a saying for you. The difference in temperature equals a difference in pressure. Difference in pressure is wind and that equals storms. And that is today's Weather Lab.